Yo, what's going on, everyone? My name is What's Real. Welcome to another episode of What's So Power. We go around the area, find some of the spiciest food in different restaurants. Today, we're welcome with a very special guest, Deucey Clips. See this right here? What is it? Who is it? No ever spoiled soup. When you order it, extra spicy. Everything here you can order spicy. You know what I mean? Okay. But the if soup, that's what it something is. about the soup, I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know how I survive it sometimes. <laughs> you start coughing going through it secondhand. I'm gonna order extra spicy this okay. time. Hey. Have you ever like teared up? Yes. Eating it? Like I yeah. come here with my mom all the time, so I'm like, you know, like that's how I get out my emotional. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like sweat out the demons. <laughs> Also extra spicy. For sure. <laughs> what, what, what makes it extra spicy? <laughs> Maybe the spices. The spice, what, what spices are in it? We make here spicy, yeah, like a chili and uh, everything. Okay. Yeah. But it's Magic. very It's spicy. all in house. Magic. He's Magic. the regular one. He yeah. knows how spicy is that. So yeah. I think you're the new weird. I'm, I'm used nice to the spice. Okay, I'll be okay. Nice spicy. okay. okay. Do, I, do I need to sign a waiver? <laughs> Am I going to be hospitalized? And I'm gonna, I don't uh, think so. You like it? Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> mm -mm. So this thing that's out now, and like you, you upload your photo, and then it says it pairs you, or it it twins you, like, you with like a celebrity. Yeah, I definitely get Booyah Tribe. Who do you think you would get? Booyah Tribe. Who's that? <laughs> oh, dude, you don't know the Booyah no, Tribe. No, you gotta, you gotta put me on uh, game, man. These dudes uh, are, they're. Uh, I want to say they're from LA, right? Okay. But um, back in the day, they were the first, one of the first cats I saw from LA that were like, you know, I, I guess it's considered Polynesian, Samoan. These dudes are beasts, bro. Like, like Chino oh, I mean, they're like, yeah, I mean, they're like, you know. UFC fighters. Big things of one. These fools, I remember they're on MTV Raps and the fool I think was bent to like 500 pounds. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, wow, I want, can those guys be my friends? Cause I used to be yeah. bullied, dude. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, like, let, I let them body train me. Be my friend. <laughs> and um, they opened up for James Brown. Like, they, they just did, they do, they, they were just, I don't know, man. I just, I used to have my, you know me, I had my hair braided yeah, all the yeah. time, so right off top. I think it was uh, Kevy Kev who used to have a blog, like an email blog, where he put me with somebody from the Booyah Tribe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, rapping in Berkeley, Oakland, on the corners, La Peña up here by the college, this is where, before ROTC, it was like, hey, what's up? Yeah. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, yo, I got a radio, what's up? I'm a beatbox. Yeah. The next thing you know, there's like eight people just going going ham on the corner, you know what I'm saying? So I used to do that with uh, KEV, you know KEV? KEV. Yeah, because I was in a part of a nonprofit at the time called Youth Movement Records mm -hmm. as a participant, like 18, 19, and me, him, uh, Dose One, um, and some other cats would just like go to either Berkeley or Powell Street Bart Station, take a boombox and just freestyle for like four hours straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that was it. I that mean, was that's it. like the funniest thing in life. It. Yeah, it's it like was you, it. you wake up at four in the morning to go piecing. I wanted to rap for four hours, which is why I got into freestyle. And uh, I just saw this thing on YouTube, man, about freestyling. And it was like the definition of freestyle. And you know, I'm a, I grew up on hip hop, so the East Coast cats freestyle was, you know, it's a written. Right. And you memorize. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's like a written, and it's like you're, you just, like, I think DMX was explaining it. You don't care. It's like you talk about anything and big yourself up. Yeah. Which is dope, you know? But, um,. I remember being on the beach in Hawaii and listening to the Freestyle Fellowship because I'd be at my house with like Zumbi and we went to high school together. So we'd be at, you know, after school we'd go to my crib. You guys went to high school together? Oh, yeah, that's was, my best friend. That's like my brother. That's like a brother. Ago, like, you oh, guys man. like connected? Because I was like freshman year, bro. Like, I was looking dude, back. Decades. You guys had that track, <laughs> but uh, Le Le Le, mm -hmm. in, in yeah. 2002. Yeah, yeah. And is that the first song you guys have done together? No, I mean, you I guys think do the so. songs together in high school? Yeah, like. In terms of rapping, yeah. freestyling, yeah. Freestyle to me 
is kind of nowadays like the real true definition of an MC. It really is. I know you freestyle. I know yeah. that you, you you're not afraid. No, no, I'm not afraid and at all. That's the biggest thing is like a fear. You know, people have a fear of. It's kind of messed up because it's scary. You know, your subconscious is what you really want to tap into, right. and that's where all the good and the bad lives. Yeah. All your secret thoughts and all the thoughts about yourself. So sometimes you mm. say something and you're like, D -d -d don't record me, bro, I didn't mean it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But those are the risks. We're lucky. I didn't grow up in the tech age. I grew up yeah. on a mic with a bunch of people around. Right. And like, if you remember it, you remember it. If you don't, you don't. So you get to chisel that fear out and like really work it as an art form. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the freestyles. To me, an MC is a f can freestyle. You, so, uh, freestyling and tapping into the subconscious, I think that's a really interesting perspective. Have you ever felt, when you're freestyling, like you're almost like transcending? Oh yeah. Like you're tapping into a higher frequency? There's times I see myself on video, I'm like, what, who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> like literally, yeah. I kind of missed that yeah. part of my life. You know, it became my job. Right. So, do you think it's because it became your job that was harder to tap in? No, think, no, I, I, I just like, for instance, Old Dirty Bastard is probably one of my favorite rappers of all time mm -hmm. because I saw him on, I seen him on video, you know, I look at it like shaman, you know, yeah. there's certain things shamans do to get themselves to that place. So it's all about finding that moment and then holding it and going, okay, that's the tool. And then you have a bunch of tools and next thing you know, you're just from one to the next. Like ODB was on MTV Raps and they're like, hey, freestyle. He was like, you know, he was already drunk. You could tell this dude was just on one already. Yeah. And like the best thing I ever seen is he was just like, oh, dirty bastard. Dirty. He just went in. Like it yeah. went from like click to thing. Yeah. And I was like, that's what it's all about to me. It really is. It's not even an art form, it's just like something that indigenous people, it's a part of our culture and our lives. Yeah. I mean, like, you're part Japanese, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you. Oof. Oh, boy. <laughs> Smoke's coming off. And it's head. herbal soup, dog. It's herbal soup. You wait for yours to come. So you can heal yourself while you die. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Well, she sounded it nervous. Takes a second. <laughs> it takes a second. There we go. For it to kick in. All right. See, that it's in brothy. Mind. That's the best. Yeah, Soup to me has to be brothy. It's so innocent. Yeah. It looks. <laughs> oh yeah, it's already instant. You it's feel like, it in your throat it's, for it's, sure. Yeah, it's already instant. Like it just. That's it. You know, when you're sick, drink this soup. Mount Everest herbal soup. Keep going, bro. That's not bad. I'm just like, I was waiting for it. In the beginning, it's not that bad. Okay. But it's kind of like that boxer that will never go down and just keeps coming back. Punching. <laughs> it's very clean. Like, the, yes. the flavor is yes. like very clean and earthy. It's almost like. You can have, there's this guy in New York who was like, instead of coffee, he was like, get some beef broth. Mm -hmm. He's a chef, so he had like a window in his restaurant. And I was like, that's exactly what I would eat for breakfast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's I like, feel like drinking this will add to exactly. my life. <laughs> See, little note to self. Okay. Now it's starting to kick in all I don't feel it. For me. <laughs> For me. I guess it's like an emotional thing. I get to cry about stuff that um I don't yeah. like to deal with. Yeah. By not crying. You know what I mean? You're crying but not crying. <laughs> I remember when I was like... little. <laughs> you gotta dig in, man. You gotta dig in. <laughs> Why are you feeling like I'll make you a taco, you want me to make you a taco? <laughs> oh man. Online about Bing Data, mm -hmm. and I was seeing that you guys got placement for Breaking Bad. Yeah. Were you a fan of the show before? We weren't. Actually, I'd never heard of it, and then we I became a fan. Yeah. After my song was on there, and I was like, it was great. It was the song Bing Data, right? Yeah, it was the Bang Data track. It was during, literally, when I watched the episode, 
during one of the, probably the most epic scene of the whole series in terms of like the, you know the the arc. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. right, so, so what happened? Mm -hmm. What what happened? Replay that scene for people that haven't, or for people that everybody know. puts it online. Bring in the chicas, you know. Basically, homie poisons the whole cartel. Right. And um, please dip into that. It's very good. Okay. Don't don't trip. I'll do it. And uh, he basically takes over at that point. So it was like a huge arc in the storyline. And uh, we we're, you know, we we're watching the episode, waiting, we're waiting like, because you know, the longer the better, the longer the better. So we're like holding hands, like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're like, they play the whole track. That kind of put us on a level. It helped the group out a lot. And. So now after that, you know, we just do a lot of placements, a lot of placements, and like movie. we had that song in the George Lopez movie. Yeah. Which movie? Which movie? Uh, Spare parts. Spare parts. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Breaking Bad in England. I think it was England. They just came out with uh, 500 box vinyl set. Okay. All the best tracks on the on the series of every yeah. season. So we're on the season four one. Awesome. So I got it at the house, and it's like a trophy, like boom, put yeah. it right there. You know what I mean? That's amazing. Yeah. We got a lot of, we got a lot of emotion off yeah, that place. Like and we were new cool. as a group. So I it was like, that. like, that was like you're from your first album, right? Yeah, exactly. So we were like super new as a group. So how did that kind of transpire? Was that, your agent reaching out to them? Was that them reaching out to your agents? Like, how did yeah, that kind of all come about? People in common, and um, somehow, some way, you know, it's like, you know somebody who does this, and like, that's perfect. Do you remember your first tour? Yeah, I remember sleeping on the floor. I remember being in Detroit, and uh, literally sleeping on the floor. What year was this? Oh, man. I can't see. I don't go through years. Well, like, like if you had to guess, and something ninety something. Ninety something. Wow. Yeah, something nineteen ninety. I don't know. I graduated with uh, maybe like ninety five, ninety seven. Okay. Don't know. I don't. That's. But it's in the nineties. It kind of sucks for me because a lot of people are good at remembering times and dates and places. We've also done so much shit. Yeah. Like, so I'm me, sure it's, it's like, like it's blurry. Yeah, we're not like I'm not online when we first started. So yeah. it's like you had to be there. Right. You come after a tour, they're like, "How was it?" It's like, man, I mean, I could tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was it like being under the Eiffel Tower going? <laughs> You can't really. There's no. There's, there's no, no word. Yeah. You have to be there. Yeah. How is that spicy? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. She always takes care of me and my mom when we come here. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's really sweet. And uh, so, you know, U.S. and we did the Europe, Japan. But uh, the U.S., yeah, I mean, like, I toured where it's, like, slept on the floor and I got, like, some cysts on the side of my leg. Like, they got infected. The hotel was just great. You know what I mean? <laughs> As they say, living the dream. I don't know what that is to people, but... So, so when you face moments like that, when you're, you know, you're sleeping on the floor in those hotels, the infected cysts in Detroit mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. 90s, mm -hmm. What what's going through your what was what do you feel like was going through your mind? Were you like it's it's only gonna get better? Are you feel like maybe yeah. this is not for me? Like what was kind of circulating up there? Um, at that point, I knew I knew what I wanted to do since I was nine. Yeah, I mean I've been rapping since I was like nine years old, so Jesus. that's not yeah. an issue. But most men will deny it. But what's on your mind is mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> There's this thing on my leg and it's killing me. What do I do? And literally. Go to the pharmacy, get some, what's that red stuff? I forget what it's called, it's like super red. You put it to kill like, when you get a cut, get some of that, dab it, go in. I was like self-operating in Canada. Yeah. It was like two weeks of hell. I didn't tell nobody either. I was like, I'm gonna die. Oh <laughs> this thing is killing me. I'm on stage going like this and it's just like, ah. So yeah, I, you know, I just dealt with it. It worked, of course, all those remedies work. You know what I'm saying? And you get through it, and then you're just grateful. Definitely a place I've always wanted to go that I haven't gone is probably Korea, South Korea. Yeah. Maybe China. 
Um, but Japan was a life changer for me. Yeah. And that's where I got my first tattoo. A homie from Hayward was out there tattooing some Yakuza family. You know, that was his like thing at the moment. And uh, I went out there with ten of the best people ever. We went like, you know, Zai and I, me, um, a bunch of people that started this clothing line from out here in the Bay. Yeah. And I, we all had just like a magical, it was something magical. You can't even put it into words, man. It really changed my life. I came back and it, I was never the same after that. And then before my grandparents died, we filmed them and somebody asked my grandmother, you know, what was your grand, what was your father like? And, you know, she was like, he was this tall, super tall Japanese dude. That lived in Nicaragua. So I, I didn't know at that time that I had Japanese blood in me. I never knew that yet. That's it for What's So High, Deuce Eclipse. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Well, love, man. Peace to the homie. What's real? Thank you, man. You know what Make I'm sure saying? you check out his uh, music video coming out, La Chata Musca, coming yeah. out in spring. Summer tour, new album, all new shit. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Check out bangdata.com, deuceclips.com, you know what I'm saying? Check out the Patreon page. Stay alive, stay happy, stay hopeful, stay lit, you know what I mean? It's not an easy world out here no more like it was when we was kids, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> stay blessed, man. Every day that you wake up is a good day. Peace out to the homie, man. What's real in the house? Ooh, we out here. Centro Americano, el Mexica y Azteca, Tolteca y Olmeca. Mi gente me refleta because I hold it down from my brother's skin brown, and I'm so down to earth that I would sit upon the dirt. You know my tribe is my worth. The only party is the search to find my roots is berserk, and we've been dragged through the mud, through the dirt, and they can never take our blood since our birth. The ancestors understand I'm under Mother Nature's skirt.